Hello boys and girls, uh, today we've got something a little bit different, you may or may not have known but uh, Sapphire now make motherboards as well as graphics cards and we've looked at um, a couple of the boards that they've had in the past like the A75 Pure Platinum. Well this is the Pure Platinum Z68 which we're just going to have a quick look at uh, before the actual official launch on the 18th. So uh, as I move this over we get the board. So this is the Pure Platinum Z68, it's a full ATX um, style motherboard and it's packed full of features really. Um, first off, uh, CPU support, i3, i5, i7, second generation Sandy Bridge processors, there's plenty of room around the socket as well. So you're going to have no problems in terms of um, sort of the bigger style coolers. Uh, of course it uses Intel Z68 chipset which sits underneath this heatsink. Uh, BIOS wise it hasn't got a GUI BIOS or anything yet but um, obviously this could be potentially upgraded uh, at a later date. Memory support if we take this sticker off we can see that there's four DIMM slots, two black and two blue and uh, according to the specs it supports DDR3 up to 16 gig, 800, 1066 and 1333 uh, but we have been told it's 1333 plus so uh, Hopefully we'll be able to chuck some sort of decent spec 2133 MHz memory in this. Um, looking at the expansion slots, there's quite a few. We've got a PCI Express X16 slash X8 up here, a X8 slot here, X4 down here, and three legacy PCI slots. So plenty of uh, expansion slots for various different older and newer generation cards. In terms of front panel connectors, we've got the usual that we've seen on Sapphire boards. All of your uh, reset CMOS, reset button, power button, BIOS selection. Uh, there's plenty of USB headers and front panel connectors and a debug LED, which is nice, as well as a built-in speaker, which I've always liked. Um, just saves you having to sort of plug one onto the front panel. SATA ports, we have uh, quite a few. There's two, four, six, and eight. Now, the two up here are separate because um, the SATA ports are actually run quite differently. There's two serial ATA 6 gig per second uh, ports which come from the Marvel um, sort of uh, chipset and there's also another four which are just your SATA 3 gig which are going to be these ones down here and they just run off of uh, your normal uh, support and that supports RAID 0, 1, 5 and 10 and also supports AHCI and then there's another two SATA ports as well which actually uses Z68 so they've actually um, implemented another chip just to get another two SATA ports off this which is a nice little touch I guess. Um, other than that the board has your usual um, power connector, another one up here, plenty of fan headers, we've got one over here, one over here, one down here, there's also one here and one here so this board's really aimed at sort of you know the enthusiast cooling and things like that in mind. And if we turn the board around, we'll be able to have a look at the rear I.O. Now, taking a look at this, we can see there's plenty of connections. We've got a PS2 mouse uh, keyboard combo port. Um, there's some USB ports, USB 2.0, another two USB 2.0. Uh, Bluetooth module as well, uh, 2.1 module. Got optical SP diff over here. HDMI and DisplayPort, VGA and DVI, so it really does take full advantage of the Z68 chipset in terms of integrated graphics, uh, which is fantastic. We've got some USB 3.0 ports over here with um, an RJ45 uh, gigabit LAN port as well, and then we've got our um, audio as well. So plenty of connections on there in terms of video and connectivity, um, and in total you've got six USB ports, uh, four being USB 2.0 and then some USB 3.0 as well. Doesn't look like there's any USB header uh, onto the board, but um, another thing that we did notice which is quite unique is there's a, a Molex port down here which is nice having it there. I'm not quite sure what it's for yet but we will look into that, um, probably just providing extra power to the expansion slots. But it's nice having it here instead of right in the middle of the board and having wires trapped across everywhere. So, like I said, this was just a quick view of the Sapphire Pure Platinum Z68. We will have a full review um, going up of this board around sort of launch time on the 18th. So be sure to check out etechnics.com uh, sort of closer to the time and you'll be able to see exactly what's on offer in terms of uh, performance and how good the features are.